Good evening. Hello. Hi, Mariana. Hi, teacher. Hi, Bene. Hello, Mariana. Hi, Kenya. Hi, Lester. Welcome to the class. Thank you for joining today. Thank you for being here. And just let me open the presentation so I can share it with you. Give me one moment. Teacher, I have Dio. a question Dio. about the homework. Um, se lo puedo decir en español. Sí, claro. Yo había entendido que teníamos que hacer el itinerario de, o sea, para las personas que iban a venir acá al Salvador. Así es, correcto. Ah, es okay. correcto. Uh -huh. Sí, pues, si lo hicieron de otra forma, no importa. La idea es que hayan utilizado las estructuras. Pero sí, esa era la idea principal, Mariana. Uh -huh. Correcto. Ah, okay. sí, lo Gracias. Yes. Uh, let me see. Give me one moment. No le voy a contestar porque uno de ustedes me está escribiendo aquí al, al grupo. Bueno, listo. Ok, very good. So, let's go ahead and start and don't worry i mean is if some of you did the homework that's going to be wonderful i would like to see what you did right and uh today is session number 15 15 perdón ahí puse ahí escribí 14 pero no es session 15 and class number perdón november oops what am i doing wait Qué pena, no le cambié la fecha, chicos. Session number 15. Pero el contenido sí es diferente, don't worry, okay? This, así que, this is session number 15, November the 5th, right? November the 5th. Um, so, let's go ahead and see. We got V going to and will. V going to and will. So, we got future with V going to and will. That's what we have been studying, okay? But I was saying that um, we're going to be using uh, going to and will into different scenarios, right? Be going to for plans or for uh, things that you have already decided and will for possible plans or things, you know, that probably you haven't decided yet or just predictions, right? Entonces, um, let's go ahead and see, guys. And I would like to listen to, you, to your ideas, to your sentences, okay? So it says Lisa's plan, right? Lisa's plan. Um, this is like, like, creo que lo vean así. Esto es lo que Lisa se ha imaginado para ese día. Okay, so I want you to think that this is just Lisa's imagination. Okay. Um, she's, that's what she's planning to do. No sé si les ha pasado a ustedes that sometimes you go to bed and you start about think and you start thinking i'm sorry about your next date y usted se lo imagina todo ah es que first i'm going to do this then i'm going to do that in the afternoon probably i will do this i will do that etc and then you fall asleep se queda dormido right so this that's what i want you to do right now right now lisa is you know on her bed she is about to fall asleep but she's thinking about the next day okay so let's go ahead and see Give me sentences, pero como teacher, deme un ejemplo. Of course, I can give you an example. Let me go ahead and get my, my text box. Oops, sorry guys. Oops, perdón, perdón, perdón. Ahí estamos. Let's see, text, very good. So we got, um, we got Lisa's plan, right? So first, okay, she is going to get up. Oops, she's going to get up at 6.30, okay? But if she is a very, you know, how can I say it? If she's very disciplined. Si yo sé que Lisa es bien disciplinada, I know that she's going to get up at 6.30 a.m. Pero si yo sé que a Lisa le cuesta, como a ciertas personitas, ¿verdad? Que de repente les cuesta levantarse temprano, suena la alarma como 15 veces y, y todavía aún así no nos levantamos. Puedo decir, she will uh, get up at, oops, at 6.30. 
Teacher, pero ahí, ¿cuál sería? Ah, algo que yo les comentaba. Todo depende del contexto, de su interpretación y de cómo usted, te, la perspectiva de, de la, de, de, desde la que usted lo vea. Why, teacher? Porque si Lisa es disciplinada, if she's disciplined, she's going to get up at 6.30 a.m. The, the, uh, the alarm is going to ring at 6.30 and she's going to get up at 6.30. But if I know Lisa and I know that mm -mm, Lisa le cuesta levantarse temprano, ¿verdad? Entonces, she will get up at 6.30. It, it's, it's up to the person, right? Depende de cómo. ¿Por qué? Porque es una posibilidad. No estoy segura si se va a levantar esa hora. Okay? Entonces, what about the next ones, guys? Think about the next ones. Quiero que me ayuden con las siguientes, ¿ok? Así que, Please go ahead and raise your hand if you want to participate. Mm -hmm. Creo que aquí me están mandando el itinerario. Bye. Excelente, chicos. Cuando ya los muestro el itinerario, entonces voy a abrir WhatsApp web y con mucho gusto se los, se los voy a proyectar acá. Ok. Mm -hmm. Hi, chicos. Only one. Uh, let me pick Lester. Lester, what about you? What do you think? Ah, bueno, Carlita. Carlita levantó la mano. Le gusta el Lester. Thank you. Que estaba viendo aquí sus mensajes, chicos. Perdón, pero hasta uh, ahorita lo voy viendo. Mm -hmm. She's going to dry at her work. Okay, very good. Let's see. Let me get another box. Oh, box, box, box. Text. Aquí está. Bye. Very good. Okay. Let's see, she is going, oops, perdón. She's going to drive. Ajá, uh -huh. she's going to drive. At her job. Okay, to, yo diría to the office, ¿verdad? To the office. She's going to drive to the office, ¿verdad? Very good. Um, and also we can say she will, she will, Uh, she will use her transportation, right? Her transportation. ¿Por qué? Pueda que ella de repente diga, mire, fíjese de que yo tal y tal día no uso mi vehículo, ¿verdad? Pero uso el transporte público, ¿verdad? Eh, she's going to use her own, trans her own, perdón, her own transportation, su propio transporte, ¿verdad? And, and, and then we ask, hey, ¿qué pasó? ¿Por qué veniste temprano? Ah, today I brought my car. Es que traje mi carro. Ah, ok. So, entonces, tomorrow she will use her own transportation. It's just a probability. Or she's going to drive to the office. Si yo sé que ella lo, lo ocupa todos los días, she's going to drive to the office, right? Very good. Excellent. Ok, Lester, can you help me with the next one, please? <coughs> ok. Um, she is going to take the train. Okay, she is going to take the train. Very good. Or she will take the train. Okay. Or she will take the train. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Van a querer que les pasen esta, estas cositas, chicos, porque si quieren que se las pasen, tendría que ir tomando capturas de pantalla por cada uno. O oh, está bien así. You okay. tell Bye. Okay. Very good. Entonces voy a borrar. Good job. Okay. Now let's go ahead and move to the next ones. Oops. Perdón. What about this? Look. What do you think it's going to happen? Mm, let me see. Uh, Mariana, would you like to participate? Would you like to help me with that one? She is going to mm -hmm. um, no. She I know. I don't know, teacher. If you you don't know. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's okay, Mariana. Dígame ese. Tengo primero Carlita y luego Lester. Dígame, Carlita. I think is uh, she's going to read the newspaper. Okay, very good. I'm going to leave it here. She, she is going to read 
the newspaper. Very good. Dígame, Lester, ¿cuál, cuál sería su ejemplo? Tell me. Um, she, she, she probably will read something uh, on trade. Okay, very good. Oh, solo que creo que aquí no se va a ver bien. And let me change the color. Vamos a cambiar el color. Sí, creo que está mejor. And y un poquito más así para que se vea más bold. Okay, she's going to read the newspaper. She she probably will read. Solo que acá déjeme comprobar. I probably will. Sí, ah, pues sí está bien. I probably will. I, she, will, she probably will. Very good. Okay. Excellent. So, what about the second one? Este, um, oh, sí, Mariana, do you feel ready? Oh, not yet. Todavía no. Si no, no se preocupe. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No problem. Uh, let me see. What about you, Rene? Would you give me an example? Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Hello. She'll probably see a, see a friend. Okay. She'll. Probably, eso se dice, wait, 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 I forgot that. Oh my goodness, tengo una laguna mental, wait, wait. Meet. No. Cuando, bueno, es que está encontrarse con alguien porque ya quedamos que nos vamos a ver, eso sería meet. Pero encontrarme a alguien por casualidad es... Uh, Waving? No, creo que ya la encontré. En mi mente creo que la encontré, pero quiero comprobarlo. Wait. Creo que es run into. Run into someone to meet someone by chance. Ahí está. <laughs> to run into someone means to meet someone by chance, right? It was nice running into you, right? I didn't expect to see you in the street yesterday, but it was great to see you. To run into, aquí está. To meet by chance. Verse por casualidad. Y se lo voy a compartir en el chat, chicos. Verse por casualidad. Ahí está. Ok, very good. She will probably run into a friend. Ok. Por casualidad, ¿verdad? She will probably run into a friend. O, oh, ¿alguna otra, algún otro ejemplo? Chicos, Lester, dígame. Tiene la manita levantada, Lester. Excuse me, but I, I have a question in, 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 that, in that case. But because this is um, Lisa's plans, so then, because it's a plan, it's not correctly to say uh, she going will to. Meet. I'm going to. Yes, meet. of course. Lo que pasa es de que, um, es lo que decíamos desde el principio, ella tiene un plan, ¿verdad? Pero... Como está la perspectiva, ¿verdad? Y eso es algo bien importante, lo decía al principio, que hay que tomar en cuenta. Todo depende de la seguridad con la que se esté, digamos, eh, hablando sobre la situación. En este caso, nosotros podemos hacerlo solo con going to, no hay ningún problema. Pero la idea es practicar los dos. ¿Qué pasaría si el plan se da tal cual o si hay algunas probabilidades dentro de ese plan? ¿Verdad? Entonces, okay. la idea es practicar both. Uh -huh. It's to practice both. Uh, probably it's, she's thinking about her plan, but there, there might be many possibilities. Uh -huh. But the idea is to practice both uh, structures. That's why, Lester. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, or we can say, as, as Lester was saying, right? She is going to meet with her friend, right? She's going to meet with her friend, right? Excuse me. It's, it, mm, I think yeah. I think is a a uh, a same guy, right? Yeah, of course. Um, it, it, so is a meet because. Mm, o sea, ya oh, sabía que lo iba a ver o no. 
Porque... Sí, bueno, la idea, chicos, eh, perdón si los confundí, la idea era que yo quería que ustedes me dieran las dos posibilidades, si era un plan o si, o si no era un plan, pero, pero ya vi que creo que los confundí un poquito, así que let's move to the plan, ¿ok? Vamos a usar entonces solo going to, don't worry, ¿ok? Entonces aquí creo que me habían dicho, she is going to read the newspaper, the newspaper on her way, right? En el camino, ¿verdad? She's going to read the newspaper on her way, ¿verdad? Para que no nos confundamos. And then, acá me habían dicho, um, she, she is going to meet with her friend, right, with her friend at, creo que son como las nueve, ¿verdad, chicos? At nine, okay, a.m., Okay, she's going to meet with her friend at 9 a.m. Very good. Okay, now what about number three? ¿Cuál sería la tercera, chicos? I have this one, teacher. <laughs> okay, tell me. She's going to lunch Chinese food with her friend. Okay, oh, you can... with her friend. <laughs> okay, she's going to have lunch, lunch with. Uy, perdón. She's going to have. She's going to have lunch with. No, me dijo, she's going to eat Chinese food, me dijo, ¿verdad? Chinese, yes. Chinese food with her friend. Very good, very good, ¿ok? Don't worry, don't worry. Perdón si los confundí, la, yo quería practicar los dos de un solo, pero no hay ningún problema, tienen razón. I said, she's going to eat Chinese food with her friend. Very good, ¿ok? Now, let's move on, let's continue. Give me one moment, let me move. Okay, and then I have more things here. Okay, what about this one? What about this one? Look. What about that one? Maybe she's going, no, she's going to shopping. Okay, very good. She is going, um, she's going. Yo diría she's going shopping, porque she's going to go, se oye bien repetitivo, la verdad es que lo, lo ideal sería she's going, pero bueno. She's going, she is going to go shopping, right? She's going to go shopping. Dígame, Carlita. Uh, I think uh, they will cross the strip. Okay. Ok, ok, siempre van a cruzar, ¿verdad? Regreso, van a tener que cruzar. She's going to go shopping and they will cross, cross the street. Ok, very good. What about the next one? Let me get another. Uh, she's one. going to picture. She oh, is. Big ben. Huh? Repeat it, I'm sorry. She's going to take. To take. Mm -hmm. Pictures of Big Bang. of the Big Bang, right? Very good, just let me see. Bang. Wait, que no me acuerdo cómo se escribe, tranquilo. Eh, uh, perdón. <laughs> estoy digitando, permítame, ya voy, ya voy. Creo que es Bang, así como se escucha. Aquí Creo, estoy buscando. No ya, lo, ya lo voy a encontrar, permítame. Sí, cuando tengo la buena mental, mejor lo, lo busco, porque no quiero cometer el error. Ahorita voy. Big Ben, uh -huh. it's Big Ben. Vamos a darle clic. Solo que lo voy a tener que borrar, lo siento. Bye. ¿Me repite su oración, por favor? She's going to take picture a Big Ben. Así. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bye. There you go. Alguien okay. más? Another one? What is going to happen next? She is going to the cinema with her friend. Okay, she is going to Pueden decir she's going to the cinema or she's going to go. Las dos estarían bien. She's going to go 
to the cinema or she's going to the cinema with her friend, right? Okay, very good, excellent. And there you have the plan, right, for the afternoon. Very good. Oops, pardon. And finally, okay, let's see what is going to happen. Tell me, guys, what will be the next sentence? She's going to leave her friend. Okay. She is going to say goodbye to his friend. Okay. Very good. She's going to say goodbye, right? Goodbye to his to her friend. To her friend, I'm sorry, to her friend. Okay, very good. What is going to happen next? What is going to happen next? She's going to arrive at her house. Okay, very good. She is going to arrive oops she's going to arrive home in the evening right she's going to arrive home in the evening very good okay and finally mm -hmm. what do you think she is going to sleep okay She's going to sleep or she is going to find out that she forgot, that she forgot her umbrella. Se va a dar cuenta que perdió su sombrilla, right? So she's going to find out that she forgot her umbrella. Somewhere, a saber a donde, verdad? She's going to find out that she forgot her umbrella, okay? And, yeah. and mm -hmm. her cat is not going to sleep because. <laughs> <laughs> and her cat is not going to sleep, okay? It's not going to sleep. Seeing her, you know, worried about the situation. Okay, good job, guys, okay? Let me go ahead and clear my drawings or my sentences. There you go. Okay, so now that we have, um, practice a little bit with the with with the structure going to let me go back here and um, what I want you to do is to share with me your homework assignment right some of you send it to the chat ahorita lo reviso solo voy a abrir dígame René and I did my my homework but I can send because my cell phone is not good. However, if you give me a permi uh, 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 give, give me a permission, I can share with you my 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 screen. Oh, I, I don't know what you said. Well, actually, I I don't know if I if I am able to do that. <laughs> but if you want, you just can say, you know, on Monday we're going to do this in the morning, we're going to do this in the afternoon, we're going to do this in the evening, right? I mean, if you if you couldn't send it, don't worry, it's okay. No se preocupe. Yo voy a compartir solo los que me mandaron, los chicos. Pero usted puede leerlo, no no hay ningún problema. Desde su dispositivo. Give me one moment. Está cargando, chicos. Okay, so this is, uh, this was like the activity, um, the activities instructions, right? It says your relatives are coming from another country, right, uh, to visit you and spend a week in El Salvador. So this will be the first time they come after many years, right? Uh, incluso a veces vienen familiares, eh, que ya ni nacieron acá, ¿verdad? Ya son nuevos, ¿verdad? Nuevo, nuevas adiciones. Entonces, you want them to enjoy as much as possible and to have them visit as many places as possible and have fun. 
prepare a quick itinerary for your relatives. Remember to use be going to to write your plans in the itinerary and use will to make spontaneous decisions, right? So the idea was for you to include a, either plans or uh, spontaneous decisions or predictions, right? It's up to you, okay? So uh, guys, it's still loading. Todavía está cargando. Sí, es que por eso casi no me gusta eh, poner WhatsApp web because it takes. Solo dejé mi, tal vez desde aquí los puedo mandar desde el, desde el teléfono para acá. No, chicos. <laughs> it's frozen. I'm sorry. Let me try one more time. Voy a activarlo de nuevo. Mm. It's a mess. Cada vez que quiero abrir esto es un desastre. Oh, well. Pero sí, chicos, perdón. Lo que pasó fue que creo que me lo enviaron y yo ya estaba en, yo ya estaba en clase porque aquí eh, eh, con, con ustedes comienzo a las, con los grupos de usted acá de inglés corporativo comienzo a las 8, pero antes también tengo otras clases, entonces yo comienzo a dar clases desde las 6. Entonces quizás cuando ustedes me lo mandaron yo ya estaba en clase. Entonces eh, ya cuando estoy en clase se me hace más difícil este tomarlos. No se preocupe, Kenia, tranquila. Si quiere modificarla ahorita, puede hacerlo, no hay problema. No se preocupe. Todo tiene solución. Menos, pues, el que ya no estemos acá. Pero por el momento estamos acá, así que hay una solución, tranquila. Vamos a darle clic y vamos a ver si puedo conectar de nuevo. Uh -huh. Vale, hoy sí está cargando. Eh... Aquí estoy viendo que me están enviando uno, chicos, no hay problema. Solo pásenlos acá y yo con mucho gusto los, los voy a sacar. Solo quizás voy a dejar compartir un momentito porque creo que eso hace más lento todo. Y no quisiera pues que quedaran algunos así. Sin... Aquí está Stop Share. Sin compartir sus, sus tareas. Wait. A ver. Está cargando, chicos. Bueno, voy a agarrar los que ya están. Eh, me mandaron una acá. Uh... Es como una imagen, creo yo. Bueno, aquí hay una imagen. Vamos a ver este primero. Vaya, en todo lo que 
alguien presenta este, me voy a ir pasando los demás, ¿ok? Ahí está cargando. Bye. Vaya, chicos, aquí tengo el primero, ¿ok? Who's this? Uy, perdón, who's this? ¿De quién es este? Ah, lo vamos a compartir, por cierto. ¿Dónde está Zoom? Acá. Going to share it. Espérame, chicos, que ahorita este está, pero trabajando al 150%. <ríe> Wait. Pueden ver la pantalla, chicos. Can you see the screen? No, teacher. What about now? Sí, es que por eso hubiera querido que me lo mandaran un poquitito antes para que ya hubieran estado listas acá, pero no hay problema. Ahorita los ponemos. Vaya, who's this? ¿De quién es este, chicos? Good no problem. Go ahead and share it with us. No problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, in my... Hello. I am going to send extra work to students. Okay. And the evening. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay. On Monday. In the morning. I am going to send extra work to students as to be with my children. Uh, Hello. No, guys. Yo creo que, um, let me do something. Um, lamentablemente, chicos. Bueno, wait. Wait. ¿Me escuchan? Yes, we can hear you too. Bye. Yo, no, yo no, yo no. Es que el, pro, el problema es que no puedo, la computadora no me deja abrir okay. WhatsApp web. Permítame un momentito, ahí voy. Así que chicos, quizás, bueno, solo en realidad no sé si ya lo han hecho antes. En mi caso, pues, yo no, no había estado. Hello? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes, teacher. Bye. En el programa, pues, yo no, no, no había estado. Ese es, digamos, el primer módulo, ¿verdad? Que hago con ustedes. Entonces, yo no estoy segura si ustedes pueden compartir pantalla. Por eso les pregunto a ustedes. ¿Ya lo han hecho antes? Y ella es la que tiene que dar permiso. Pero este, eso también vuelve la conexión mucho más lenta. Sí, porque yo es. ahorita lo siento. Es que fíjense que yo hubiera querido que me las mandaran antes, ¿verdad? Porque yo así hubiera preparado la presentación. Pero en mi caso, yo empiezo a dar clases desde las 6 de la tarde. Entonces, desde las 6 he estado, digamos, ocupada. Pero no se preocupen, sino lo que podemos hacer es así leerlo, ¿verdad? Porque sí, traté, chicos, y aquí colapsó todo con WhatsApp web, así que no, no, no vamos a poder hacerlo así. So let me go ahead and stop sharing. Dígame. Usted puede dar permiso para poder compartirlo. Pero la cosa es que también se pone lento. Ajá, se pone bien lento. Es como que, este, como que vuelvo a abrir WhatsApp web otra vez. Entonces, este, no, si gustan, léanlo así, chicos, no hay ningún problema. ¿Verdad? Y les agradezco a los que me los mandaron, ¿verdad? De hecho, miren, aquí me está apareciendo un mensaje. Continue con Bernie. Bueno, eso es de la clase anterior. De la clase anterior a usted. Bye. Este, no, guys, let's continue working. Uh, um, you can share it, ¿verdad? Me lo pueden leer nada más, compartirlo. No hay ningún problema. Let me share the screen. Y me estaba escuchando a, estaba escuchando quién fue la que estaba leyendo su tarea, perdón. Blanca, creo que. Blanquita, Blanquita puede continuar, fíjense que yo le estaba poniendo atención y me gustaron sus ejemplos, pero perdón, ya no lo puedo, ya no lo puedo compartir, dígame. Can you read it again, Blanquita, please? 
I think she's gone, teacher. She's gone. Es que ella también se le escuchó bien inestable, ¿verdad? La, la conexión. Bueno. Yes. yes. Ok, dígame, Carla. Can I share my presentation? Yes, you can. Ok. Uh, my dignity uh, is a... Is a Our friend born here, but he never, he never has been in El Salvador because okay. he moved on to USA mm -hmm. and Texas, Houston, Texas. But the first day when he was there, and Monday in the morning, we're going to pick up you from the airport to your hotel while you are and you arrive at your hotel and after and after that eh, you'll take a nap. Pero está hablando como que si yo voy a hacer la que va a hacer eso, va a ser ella o yo? No, no es es ella. Ah, okay, okay. Entonces sería she is going to uh, she is going he's going to, oh, I'm going to pick up her from the airport to okay. to to Hotel Bayua and she will arrive up to, at her hotel and after that he will take a nap. In the afternoon, uh, before the lunch, uh, she, she she's going to visit the famous short Cristo Negro, mm -hmm. considered a miracle after a uh, She's going to to eat near of the downtown. In the evening, uh, she she will go to the conga bus and spend good time with the other tourists over there. On Tuesday, uh, she will leave very early the hotel and she will visit the park La Puerta del Diablo. Okay. In the in the afternoon, uh, she she's going to visit the part the family and enjoy the beautiful landscape with with us and with her friends. In the evening, uh, she's going to eat pupusas at Los Planes Renderos uh, because the food there is so delicious. On Wednesday. Uh, she she will breakfast at 8 a.m. She will have at, breakfast. Okay. She will she will have breakfast at the at 8 a.m. at the hotel. In the afternoon, she's going to the beach Los Covenants. And she she will eat a fish. She will eat fish. Eat, she eat will fish. Eat, uh -huh, sorry. In the evening, uh, she's going to eat a cocktail of shrimp at the restaurant Blues. On Tuesday, uh, she's she's going to no, sorry, she she will go to climb to the volcano Cerro Verde. In the afternoon, she's going to Salco Titan, and we we, pardon, sorry, and she will buy yuca frita and piña colada. In evening, uh, she will come back to Ayua and she's going to buy a souvenir. On Friday, uh, she's going to best. She's going to the best beach of the Salvador, El Tunco, mm -hmm. and she's going in the afternoon. She's going to learn how to surf. In the in the evening, uh, she's going to the bar and. She, She can dance all night long. Very That's good. It. Excellent, Carla. Thank you very much. Actually, my favorite part was about, you know, the food. <laughs> the food she will probably yeah. eat, okay? Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you, Carlita. Okay, what about, a, well, let me see. Let me see who else do I have here. ¿Quién más me lo mandó? Um... Wait, aquí tengo photo. Intermediate, aquí está. Okay, so who's next? Let's see, because actually I got this one. 
but I don't know who's this. Okay, can you see it? De quién es este, chicos? Who's this? Está bien bonito. Mine. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Kenya. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you about my itinerary. Mm -hmm. um, Monday in the morning, I'm going to uh, interview for a job at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And Tuesday in the morning, I'm going to go jogging. And after that, in the evening, I will eat Korean food for the dinner. And Wednesday, sorry, Wednesday, Wednesday? in the afternoon, I'm going to buy a new laptop. And Thursday in the afternoon, I will visit my grandparents. Mm -hmm. And Friday in the morning, I'm going to go to the supermarket. Okay. In the afternoon, I will make my homework. And Saturday in the morning, I will be in class. And in the evening, I'm going to eat paella with my family and friends. And Sunday in the morning, I guess I will wake up early. And in the afternoon, I'm going to buy things that I need. And in the evening, I'm going to go to the church. That's all. Okay, very good. It sounds like if you have your uh, week already organized, right? That's something cool. Thank you very much, Kenya. Okay, let's see who else can must. Uh, well, here in the chat, let me see. Through the chat, I got uh, Luis. Luis, can you please go ahead and share with me your itinerary? Yes, teacher. Uh, Thank you. I got to read. Uh, no problem. Uh, on Monday in the morning, um, we are going to pick up my relatives from the airport at uh, 9 a.m. Very good. In the yeah. afternoon, we will eat the lunch in the restaurant, the balcony. In the evening, mm -hmm. we are going to meet and celebrate at the grandmother's house together with my family who lives in the west of the country. Lives. 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 Mm -hmm. Lives. Uh, Tuesday in the afternoon, we are going to visit my relatives, all friends. In the evening, we are going to eat pupusas in Olocuilto. Wednesday in the morning, we are going, we are going to go to the beach El Espino. In the afternoon, we are going to eat fresh seafood in the restaurant of the beach. On the beach, sorry. No worries. In the evening, we will have dinner at the restaurant uh, Fuego Lento. Uh, Thursday, in the morning, we are going to go for a hike on El Pital Hill. Okay. At the night, we will make a bonfire to tell an to tell anecdote and anecdote. camp anecdote and camp in the same place. Friday in the afternoon, we are going to visit Ilo Vasco and buy so binder so sorry, no sé cómo se dice esa palabra. So Which, so banners. Souvenirs. So, Souvenirs mm -hmm. made of clay and wood. In the evening, we are going to have a farewell dinner at grandmother's house. Finally. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much, Luis, right? Okay. Thank you, Luis. Very good. I like it. And I can hear, or I could hear that you know many places, right? Right, so you know a lot of places. That's something cool. Thank you. Uh, what about you? Let's see, eh, Rene, please. Yes. Um. 
Monday in the in the afternoon we are going to take our lunch in San Salvador City, mm -hmm. and then we'll probably stay in home for for to take a break. Tuesday in the morning we are going to get up at eight. 8 a.m. and we're going to leave to the house and we will go to Huayua. Then in the afternoon, everyone we're going to visit our grandparents. In the evening, we're going to go planes the renderos and also we're going to eat pupusas. In Wednesday, we think we will shopping and we're going to photograph us. We're going to take pictures. We're going to go shopping. Ah, thank okay. you. Thank you. Así lo tenía, pero pensé que estaba mal y lo cambié. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> digamos, okay. Digamos, okay. Probably we will take a, a break. Then we're going to watch a play in National Theater. Thursday, we're going to visit Historical Center. Then we will go to the beach and we'll swim in the pool. Uh, then we're going to sleep very late after arriving from the beach. You're going to go to bed late, okay? Thank, thank you. Friday, we're going to get up very early for we go to airport. Uh, next, we will say goodbye to our family members. Okay, very good, excellent. I like that part when you said that you're going to take them to the theater, right? To um, to to watch or to see a play. Very good, excellent, and also historical places. Thank you. Let me check who else. I will send the itinerary. Mm -hmm. Intermediate. Bueno, Elizabeth, she already presented. Uh, I got one, but well, who's this guy? Look, you see, ahí va a aparecer. Who's this? Alguien? Who's this? Teacher, creo que era el mío. Era el suyo. Sí. Luis, ah, okay, very good. Okay. Bueno, aquí ya pasaron los que tenía acá. Okay, so now it's time to pick. Okay, what about you? Let's see, um, Monica, can you share with us your itinerary? Monica? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, would you be so okay. kind to share? Okay, um, Monday in the morning, and we are going to pick up some my relatives from the airport at 9 a.m. In the afternoon, we are going to lunch to Acajutla. In the evening, we are going to the supermarket to buy food for the week. On Tuesday, um, I think we we'll make our breakfast at home in the morning. In the afternoon, we are going to visit some friends in San Miguel. In the evening, we will return to San Salvador and see a movie. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, uh, we are going to stay ho at home and get ready for our trip. Okay. Uh, because in the afternoon, we are going to climb the San Vicente Volcano. Uh, I think uh, in the evening, we'll stay at home and order some food. Uh, in th on Thursday, uh, we will go to to look for a buffet breakfast in the morning. Okay. In the afternoon, we will have a barbecue at home with some friends. And in the evening, um, we probably will go to eat sushi. Friday, we are going to swim in the morning. And we will eat Italian food in the afternoon. And in the evening, we are going to drop our, real, our relative, relatives off at the airport at 9 p.m. Okay, well, it sounds, you know, something very organized, okay? You included a little bit of everything. So thank you very much, Monica, for sharing your itinerary. Thank you. What about you, Lester? Are you here? Hello, Lester. 
Are you here in the class? Volunteer, a volunteer. Me teacher. Go ahead, Mariana, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, when on Monday in the morning, we're going to pick up my relative from the airport to 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then in the afternoon, we're going to lunch at the restaurant in La Libertad. And finally, in the evening, they'll return to where they are staying. Okay. On Tuesday in the morning, we're going to breakfast at 8 a.m. in Dennis. Then in the afternoon, maybe we'll go shopping at the mall. And finally, in the evening, we'll go to dinner pupusas at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, we're going to the supermarket in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we're going to Linda Vista Gardens. And then maybe we'll go to El Boquerón. Mm -hmm. In the evening, they'll return to where they are staying. On Thursday, we're going to climb the Lamatepec Volcano in the morning, and in the afternoon, we'll launch something at a restaurant that is on the road. And finally, in the evening, we'll go to see other friends. On Friday, we're going to La Ruta de las Flores. Mm -hmm. um, then in the afternoon, we'll launch in a restaurant in Ataco. And finally, in the evening, we're going to dinner pupusas. On Saturday, we're going to the beach at Los Cobanos for the whole day. And finally, on Sunday, we're going to buy some souvenirs. In the afternoon, we'll lunch in El Zócalo at 1 p.m. And finally, we're going to drop our relatives off. Don't worry, off that's me. Uh -huh. At 9 p.m. Okay. I'm sharing something with you, okay? Y en el chat. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, and and finally, Mariana, you said I'm sorry. Ah, uh, we're going to drop our relatives off at the airport. At Excellent. The airport. Thank you very much, Mariana. Good job. Okay. Very organized. Okay. Pero miren, Mariana los regresa siempre todos los días donde se quedan. Okay. They are going to go back where, where they stay, and she says, right? Yes. Very good. I have okay. Family in my house. Yeah, uh -huh. the space. The space is a problem, right? Space is a problem. My dog is very nervous with other people. <laughs> okay, you it's crowded already, so you don't have more space for you know inviting people over your house your house. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay. Now anyone else? Someone else? Volunteer. Volunteer. No problem. Okay. Oh well, Mariana, voy a agregar algo más. You can say like this. Teacher and I have some, sorry. Dígame, dígame. I have some doubts about something. Um, I know I'm, I am, o sea, yo tendría que saber esto, pero es que me volví a confundir, teacher. No se preocupe, dígame. Um, con el uso de on, in y at. Mm -hmm. Recuerdo que at se usaba para lugares específicos. On se usaba con días, meses y, o estaciones del año, si no me equivoco. Mm -mm. O al revés, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, let me see. Yo creo que tengo algo acá. No, but actually at, as you were saying before, um, mm -hmm. the use of at, y creo que aquí lo tengo, pero me lo voy a buscar rapidito. Uh, the use of at is location, right? Es una, es una, es una posición, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir I am at the university. No estoy diciendo específicamente dónde, solo estoy dando my location. My location is at the university, right? And uh, let me see. I have it here, I think. Luego on, bueno, comencemos con in, ¿ok? In sí lo puedo usar yo con, eh, con las estaciones del año, con los meses, in the morning, in the afternoon, in June, in August, right? In, o ya cuando hablamos de posición dentro de algo, inside something, right? But on is different. On, ah, también at lo utilizo con la hora, ¿se acuerda? También yes. at, ok. Entonces on, no, on es para fechas. Okay. La fecha exacta quiere decir tu, um, eh, the itinerary. The itinerary was to on November 5th. November the 5th. Today is November the 5th. Right? Entonces, cuando yo uso, ya estoy dando la fecha, no solo el mes, pero 
prepositions. Prepositions. Cuando yo estoy dando ya el, el, el mes junto con la fecha, entonces ahí sí necesito usar on, ¿verdad? Ya no es in. Pero si estoy hablando del año, in 2020, in eh, 1998, in 1886, etc. Entonces cuando yo estoy usando solo el año, sí puedo usar in. Pero oh, el mes, in June, in August. Pero cuando ya vengo yo y quiero utilizar ambas cosas, ¿verdad? El, el año. Eh, o la fecha, en este caso el día, ahí sí necesito utilizar este on, ¿verdad? On es para las fechas. Y okay. creo que por aquí tengo un, algo para ponérselo acá. Um, creo que aquí está. Bueno, no, no parece estar en este. Pero si quieres se lo debo, se lo voy a apuntar y lo voy a compartir en el grupo. Eh, eh, Mariana, porque sí, aquí tengo yo algo sobre eso. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Pero conteste su pregunta. Yes, yes, thank Bye. you. Bye. Solo lo voy a apuntar. Vaya, ahí están las prepositions. In, at, on. Y ya lo voy a buscar, ya lo voy a mandar, porque de todos modos, Después de esta clase tengo que contestar todos los mensajes que no he contestado. Ok. So if, if you if you get a late reply it's because of that, it's because I have been I have been teaching. Ok. Así que todavía tengo minutitos porque no es ese cabalito, guys. And now, when it comes to will, right, the structure of the of the uh, simple future tense, right? Um, we said that um, we're going to use it in, in, in predictions, right? We're going to use it whenever we want to, um, we want to express possibility, right? Whenever we want to um, just talk about something that uh, it's, it's like we, ha we only have the intention, right? Como, nos, como habíamos quedado ayer, dijimos que going to lo usamos para plans or things that we have already decided, right? Cosas que ya hemos decidido, that's going to como lo que practicamos, right? But then we have um, will, ¿verdad? Will, como habíamos visto, quizás es como el más versátil. It can be used in many things. Dijimos, I can use it for instant, uh, instant decisions. Oh, I'll have a pizza, or I'll have a hamburger, or I'll have some coffee. O, puedo utilizarlo para, para predictions, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué para predictions? Because I'm not pretty sure, no estoy segura. Possibilities, right? Possibilities. So if you consider that something is not going to happen for sure, so you can go ahead and use will. Pero en todas las, digamos, en todas las secciones cuando usted busca información sobre future simple, porque lo que hemos visto, estas dos estructuras son future simple. Cuando nosotros hablamos de future simple, guys, todo depende de, del contexto, de cómo usted lo quiera interpretar, right? For example, si alguien me dice a mí, I will get married, I will get married um, within five years, right? Lo que me está dando a entender a mí es que es una posibilidad, o sea que the person is not sure. Pero si viene alguien y me dice, I'm going to get married next year, or I'm going to get married um, at the end of the year, right? Entonces yo digo, oh, esta persona ya está segura de que esto es lo que quiere, right? Y ahí vienen los amigos y las amigas, ¿verdad? Mira, are you sure? Está seguro de que está seguro, right? And then, um, that's for sure. Entonces, mi interpretación es, esta persona ya tomó una decisión, esta persona está segura de lo que está haciendo, y esta persona lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso les digo, todo depende de la interpretación, o como, por ejemplo, el ejercicio que estábamos haciendo al principio, que los confundí un poquito, la idea era esa, ¿verdad? Eh, en realidad, decir... Eh, algo que sí está para que uno considera que va a suceder, que sería con going to, o una posibilidad. Algo que pueda que suceda, pueda que no. ¿Ok? Entonces, uh, those were the uses of used to, of going to, ¿verdad? Y will, con future simple. Las estructuras se llaman future simple. ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana, teacher? Well, tomorrow we have our last class. Wait, sorry. We have our last class, our last session. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a revisar el final test. ¿Verdad? Si ya lo terminaron, no se preocupen. 
pero vamos a revisar el final test y vamos a terminar unos ejercicios que yo todavía traía por acá. Ok. No me queda nada más que agradecerles a los que pues, le compartieron su itinerario. Thank you very much. It was very nice to listen to your ideas and to listen to your voices. Ok. So thank you very much. Good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Ok. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Take You're care. welcome. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye, guys. Take bye, care. Teachers. Good night.